Hello my little doggies! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Shamily and today I had a genius ID. Or it might be a flop, you decide. But I was thinking during my last video, I I really thought a lot. And I was like, yeah, water escaping is a struggle for everybody I know. Nobody is good or enjoy that much water escaping. Creators, friends, whatever. They all have some kind of struggle. And last time I was water escaping, I told you, yeah, water escaping is actually like a path. It has to be curvy, it has to be band deep for both sides and unpredictable. So I had this genius crazy ID. What if I path? my waterscaping so to help me out first of all i think path placement is kind of easier than the waterscaping tool so if you need to erase you're gonna lose less time like the animation takes a bit less time so it's a bit easier and then i was like yeah people are not struggling with path placement so they might not struggle if they do this then it might be the craziest id revolutionary totally unique to finally master the water escaping because after three years of playing the game it might be time we master this tool right right so i was like let's try let's try and i am gonna be doing just that so i i did this as you can see and you saw in the preview i also wanted to include a diagonal bridge because of course i want to go to all the challenges before i even start with something simple i want to reach like highest top quality of the challenges so that's exactly what i just did and i'm gonna let you enjoy as i'm tracing the path and then filling with the water and we'll meet back whenever i am doing my feedback on this method i guess so see you Okay, so here are my impressions about this method. And to be fair, I think it was a flop. <laughs> I think it was a flop because the, the water is not as natural. I think it's a bit chunky and bulky. I think it was helpful though in some sense that it was easier to know where to round maybe but in general i would not leave this like this i am indeed gonna be working on fixing my waterscaping especially because there is not enough space for my diagonal bridge and in general if i had now that i'm in res retrospective judging my work fixing the waterscaping was super hard i think the time i lost like 
placing the path, filling the water, and then trying to solve the water issues with all of this, I think it would have been quicker if I just like waterscape from the beginning. So yeah, that was just a flop and I'm not a genius. I'm sorry, friends. I'm sorry to disappoint you. If it works for you, I mean, you could try. Let me know in the comments if you tried and, and tell me if it works for you or if it's a flop. I mean, we never know. We never know. But in, in all the way, if you enjoy this tutorial or those crazy ID or have the ultimate techniques, let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Maybe put a thumbs up so other people can see this video. That would be awesome. Thank you so much. And I'm gonna be finishing to fix my waterscaping and then I'll meet you whenever I'm decorating. So of course, I went on a break and I forgot to press record again. I know, I know, I, I ain't smart, I ain't smart, you're not here for that anyway. But so I missed all the nature bushes and tree placement, I am very sorry again. <laughs> but the good part is that I left, I, I, I am sure now I recorded the decoration part. So phew, at least that's that. <laughs> and I am starting by placing my little hop hop path and I wanted to try to place it without switching colors or path variation every time I was placing something and as you can see I struggled a bit so yeah my advice as in every video I'm telling you my advice to do hop hop path you just switch variation of path every time you do one so you don't struggle in the end because here you're gonna see how many times I erased my little tilted path or rounded corner Ah, that's painful to watch. <laughs> but in the end, I think those hop hop paths, they are so pretty. And I am obsessed with placing the little leaves design on top of it. I think it looks so cute. And I am obsessed on doing that. For this house decoration, this is Weber house. I decorated it. It's in the portion that I did not record. I am sorry again. But in the end, I really wanted to accentuate the ducks. I feel like this is something I kind of have been missing in my past build. You cannot tell it's a duck core island. So I really wanted to go crazy with the ducks. And Weber is our duck tender or duck tender. No, wait, that sounds like food. Um, well, anyway, he's taking care of the ducks. And so I wanted to have tons of ducks everywhere. I wanted to use also the egg, this design with the eggs, like the nest. I wanted to reuse the bread with the cupcake also. I found that so cute. I really want to use it everywhere on my island and play with different type of ducks. Like, look at this cutie feeding on the little cupcake. So I really wanted to go crazy with all of that. I'm also using the bunny day basket. Yeah, I think that's the name. That is containing all the eggs and adding like a little egg near it. I mean, ah, that's so cute. I really wanted to accentuate that and I'm, I'm really happy I did. This is not like a crazy build. I went very minimalistic. You're gonna see I didn't want to go crazy with too many items or too many flowers indeed. Like... I feel like I tend to go too crazy on the flowers and definitely want to challenge myself to not do a flower apocalypse maybe. But I really wanted to have like a small cute build filled with ducks and uh, where you can just go and enjoy the outside. This might be even bit more cottage core than, than spring core, which I mean for me kind of is the same. Spring core is cottage core in the spring maybe <laughs> so anyway that was my inspiration i am obsessed with this build honestly i think this is my favorite build on this island so far so i was very proud of myself and i did skip the part where i placed all the flowers at the end of the video because i think anyway that is not the hardest part to do and if you want to reproduce you can totally do it by yourself and here is just a little reading spot with a little stool with some tissues 
I really wanted to add tissues, like maybe you're crying while reading a book. I was also sick at the time I recorded this and I wanted to have tissues because I had like the spring flu, is that how you call it? You know, when all the pollens and stuff like that are making you sick. So yeah, I was really desperately in need of tissues and maybe that's where I fetched my inspiration. Of course, if you're reading outside and like there is a lot of flowers and stuff like that, you might... you. I get sneezy, you know? <laughs> so whatever reason, this is why I wanted to have some tissues, I have some books, and then of course I have some more ducks, and I play with my favorite design patterns, of course, a little baby bear, cause they're the cutest favorite items from the game. But anyway, that's gonna be it. So I hope you enjoyed this build. And if you did, don't forget to put a thumbs up so other people can see it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I might find one day the ultimate waterscaping guide. So worth subscribing. Bye!